Right there folks, bit of a strange one here, I'm going to try and grow some potatoes in nothing but sand. This is my sharp sand I've got out of my carrots where I core them out so there's no nutrients in it whatsoever. So we're going to see if we can actually grow some using sand and a bit of this stuff which is six months slow release fertiliser. So I'm just going to add a couple of ounces of that, well not a couple of ounces, an ounce or something maybe. Because I don't want to be using any soluble fertiliser because obviously with it being sand it'll just uh, wash away. So we'll try it. It's worth knowing if it works or not. I don't see why it shouldn't. So as always, I've got a few odd seed potatoes left. They're not the best, they're just my rejects. So they're only little ones. So I'll just put three in because they've only got like one sprout each. Just put three in a pot and cover up with nothing more than sand. That'd be good if it does work because I might uh, you might get a big glut of spuds in Saudi Arabia or something. As long as they can get plenty of water, it's plenty of the desalinated water. They're not short of that. So who knows? It might work. Just a bit of an experiment. You've got to try these things. So there you go. Whether it'll work will remain to be seen, but. Uh, We'll just do it like we do normally with all the other potatoes, just keep topping them up if they start growing. And then once the, you know, once the foliage gets to the top, pot full of sand, leave it and see if we get any spuds out. So just a daft little trial error, trial and error thing. Can we grow potatoes in nothing but sand and a little bit of slow release fertilizer in a pot? I won't be putting these on any soil, so I'm not cheating, they'll just be sat on the on the wood or the sort of flags like that. So that's about it folks, bit of a daft uh, Friday night trial, see you later.